Hey guys, so I'm Sam from Gap Your Escape and I'm here to talk to you about the best backpack to take when you're traveling. We do have a blog in the comment section below, so if you want to check out all the different features of the backpacks on there, then please click on that. First of all, we're going to talk about size. So if you're going away on a short trip, so about a month, or you're a minimalist traveler, the best size to take is probably about a 40 litre. So we've got the Osprey Far Point 40 litre backpack, so that would be perfect to take. But if you're taking a longer stint and you need something with a bit more room, the Osprey does come in 55 and 70. Or you've got the Berghaus Wilderness here that's 65 with your 15 plus. More than enough room to take on a longer stint, especially if you're going to different climates and things like that. If you want a backpack that you can use as a carry-on, um, the Osprey Farpoint is perfect for that, 40 litre. You can take it onto any European flight as a carry-on. If you're going to other parts of the world, then you might want to check that it still fits in the compliance of weight and height. So other reasons why it's great to take a carry-on backpack is you don't have to pay luggage fees and also you can get out of the airport straight away so you don't have to worry about waiting for your bag to show up on the little trolley thing. Other carry-on backpacks to consider are the Osprey Porter and the Low Alpine 80 carry-on. So let's talk about day packs. So the Osprey Farpoint 55 litre has a detachable day pack. So you can either have that attached as extra storage or you can take that off and use it as a day pack. Or we've got the Osprey Radial 26. And then we've got the Berghaus here and it's a 30 litre and that can also be used as a day pack. And both of these have a ventilation system just here. So that's perfect if you're cycling or anything like that. So the Osprey Radial has a padded laptop compartment. The Berghaus Free Flow is hydration pack compatible, so if you need it for that, absolutely brilliant. Let's talk about the benefit of having wheels with your backpack. Some people don't like them because they're a little bit heavier, but personally I think they're great. So unless you're going to the jungle, where a backpack's probably better, most places have roads and things like that that you can wheel it around quite easily. The best wheel backpack is the Osprey Sojourn, this one here, and I'll show you the wheels here. The Osprey Sojourn comes in 60 and 80 litre. And if you can't wheel it around, it does have these handy backpack straps inside so you can wear it and carry it around. So let's talk about backpack design. It's really important to think about that. So one thing I'd say don't get is a top loader because you open it up and then you've got to take things out to get to the things at the bottom and it's just really awkward. So the best thing to get is something that opens up like a suitcase. There's some really good brands to get are the Osprey Farpoint, the Osprey Sojourn, the Berghaus Wilderness are all perfect because they open up just like suitcases so you can get to your stuff really easy. One thing I would advise, if you think you're going to go for a 40 litre, I'd suggest maybe going for a 60 so then you've got a bit of more rummage space. So if you go 40, go to 60, if you go 60, go to 70 and so on because then you can, you can buy souvenirs and fit them in. But most importantly, you can get to your stuff really easily. And when you're on the move, that's really, really, really important. So if you like our videos, please like and subscribe. And if you want to know anything else about our backpacks, please click on the link below.